strikers. Three round, five minutes. Follow my instruction. If you won't touch gloves, go back to your corner. Good luck, man. Andrew White shows blue corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. And off we go here at Octagon 57. The Festhal already brimming. And Adonju coming down the southpaw stance, kicking on the inside leg and controlling the center of the octagon to start us with. Endrit stalking his man, though, and this guy possesses power, and that's why XL looking for this takedown oh. and gets it. And gets up well, does Endrit. Nice broomstick attempt across the, the both legs, and you can see the don't diversity the of the wrestling and, and how he attacks different angles and doesn't go for those standard double leg, single leg attacks. That that I feel like was what Adonjo is so good at, going for this outside reap. Now trying to switch it up, a great defense defense so far from Endit Brashoria. Yeah, yeah but this is what Brad Kip Pickett said he wanted from Adonjo. He kind of felt he, like the, the losses he's had since he's been at Great Britain top team. He said he didn't really listen. He didn't engage the grappling. Brad talks so highly about how he can wear you down and grind on you. And that's, that's a lot from that team, right? Because that's kind of their style. They've got exquisite grappling, heavy ground and pound, good submissions. And that is the development we're seeing on Dojo now. Yeah, I mean, I believe Brad calls it man beasting or his style of, of grappling. And, and I feel like that's exactly what he just did intelligently, though, changing and finally got Brashori down to the ground. And the pressure he's admitting, Brashori not taking any damage yet controlling quite well and evading but a great start from Adonjo to get this to the mat especially it took him about 40 seconds uh, to get him down and avoided the damage remember Brashori has two knockouts in inside 30 seconds carries a lot of power in those hounds early on a great tactical decision to get this down to the mat early and also one thing maybe uh, you know the small what I would say is uh Slight on the Brashori as far as his preparation sometimes, and because he hasn't been trained as a pro, it's that cardio, right? He's faded in some fights. Yeah, so they would have obviously seen that, and a, an extremely talented team over there. So I feel like they, they break down the fighters, and they look at game plans, and they take it much more seriously than a lot of others. Switching now to the north-south position. Andrew doing the right things, trying to escape, and manages to create some space, and gets up to his feet extremely well. Double leg straight back in, though, from XL. Good, and good hips and control from Brashori. Great. Again, we said about this in his walkout. The development that we've seen from Brashori in a couple of fights, especially his last one against Spike, his grappling is not to be underrated as well. Yes, yeah, certainly good improvements from both these fights over the last couple of fights we've seen him in. Does well to get back to his feet there, but still in a very defensive place. Good head position at the moment from Adonju. Yeah, Adonju. Setting out his stall, this is now the game plan that Brad teased us with, said this is what we'd like to engage. Easier said than done against Brashori, but he's made it very effective in this early round, just two minutes left now. And, and now wrapping around that body lock, gets the full body lock, and this is where he likes to work from, with the reaps inside, outside, hip tosses, off balances, beautiful knee okay. there to the midsection, and th that was, uh, you know, tough. Then goes knee knock, oh. knee outside, and then that's one of my favorite takedowns from Adonju as well, you see it. Yeah, in all of his fights, he attempts it, and it, it's so effortless, takes no energy, and that's why he can grind away now. Good head position in the middle of the, 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 the chest, now pushing up against the head. And you'll see now another development, Brad said, is that Adonji listens now when they're fighting, and when you look at that corner, you've got Ashley Grimshaw in there, one, you know, one of the elite grapplers to, uh, to come through the UK and to fight in MMA, to have him in the corner as well, guiding Adonji through these positions. I remember grappling with Ash, Ashley Grimshaw 10 years ago in London, uh, you know, with uh, Jude Samuel in his gym, and he actually flying triangled me. And it, <laughs> he used to fight at featherweight, I believe, and I used to fight, well, finish my career at light heavyweight. So you can see the grappling prowess and talent that has then been passed on to Adonjo here as he uh, works away methodically breaking down Brashori and now again trying to get him back down to the mat but Brashori doing a fantastic job so far evading damage you know it hasn't really taken much damage he's been out classed so far in this opening round the full four minutes it's okay. uh, coming towards the end but has done a great job of evading damage yeah don't you there Firing that shot in. I'm just going to jump back. Look, is there any footage of that flying triangle? Don't can I get my hands on it anyway? It was that here. I mean, you definitely cannot. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure I'll I should probably never have mentioned it, but <laughs> I like Ashley, so he can have it. <laughs> Beautiful work here now. 
from Odonjo, but the, 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 the defense and balance on display from Rashori just shows how difficult it is. What, what Odonjo is doing to him is an extremely difficult task, and he's still managing to control the fight. Broke away in the final seconds. But one round almost done and dusted here. Oh. Round two, fight! And Brashori now seems a bit hesitant to even throw in case he gets taken down to the map. Yeah, and that's, that's what he's got to be aware of, right? His weapons, his strikes are what he needs to be allowed to use. And to do that, he has to stay on his feet. Fainting and get the respect. There's that oh, single. Commits to it. Brashori trying to... Oh, oh fucking hell! Oh, oh, that right hand! That seemed to rock him. Now he's giving up now. He'll have to go up and under big elbows here from Rashori. This is why he's dangerous. Even that short shot seems to rock a dungeon. Yeah, rocks him massively. Now in the full guard, laying down elbows. A beautiful opportunity here for Rashori. And that opened up, and that's what's so fantastic about mixed martial arts. <laughs> Anything can happen, and we seem like it was going to be exactly a copy of the first round into no, the I second don't. on that single. What touched him one time and dropped him. Brashori doing a fantastic job. Adonju recovering here, full guard, just trying to evade damage and doing an okay job of it so far. Foot on the hip, getting oh, back to his feet. He still rocks Luke. He's... Needs to be careful now. Now he's back up. Now we have a fight. Good Luke. left hand from Adonjo. Yes, yeah, solid left there from Adonjo. Back to his feet. And the entry for that takedown was good, Luke, but the punishing shots, the power of Brashori was on display, even at short, even in short um, proximity. Steps in well with that right hand. What Brashori does so well is he faints and then he goes in a split second. So you think he's not going to come and then he hits you with that right stiff jab. And you see the blood pouring for, through the mouth of Adonjo now as well. Has been tested, but seems seems there in the moment. Seems con in control. Seems recovered well, moving well, but needs to try and get this down to the mat. Yeah, also taking big breaths. That mouth is open, Luke. You exert a lot of energy in that panic of survival, right? Yeah, and he, he survived. Panic of survival, but he got through it. Nice knee to the midsection. Halfway through almost in this second round. What and Rashori calm, waiting for his moment. And again, talking about cardio, he seems extremely relaxed. And again, you know, that's a development. The efficiency, he was wild in his first fights. And even that Mate Danik fight, which is up at middleweight, the one he lost, it was no. a crazy back and forth fight, but much more efficient fighting from uh, Eindret tonight. And intelligent here from Adonjo to pin him up against the fence and get that entry. And now battling for double underhooks up against fence, gets it, gets his body lock. This is where he's so good. Again, we've said about oh, it. He's got so it. powerful here, so good at controlling the hips and and changing the balance in so many different ways. Chains his attacks together so well. Nice oh, little takes knock. the back. Takes one hook. Takes the back. One hook is in. What a turnaround here from Adonjo. And you talk about intelligent fight and exactly what you said, Luke. Mixed it up, changed the momentum of this round, and now has the back with one minute, 50 seconds to play with. And I like here on the back, he has this single hook, the bottom hook on that left leg. He's not attempting the top hook with the right leg. He's actually triangling around the leg. And now he's switching up now, trying to go body triangle with those long limbs. Gives up on that, but this can emit a lot of pressure on the hip oh. as long as you have that bottom hip. And he's and he's got good left arm, left position with the arm as well, attempting maybe to try and take the, take that choke early. But what a turnaround, right? And this shows again, really intelligent fight from this young man. Oh, that's under the chin. He's working that under. You can hear there from the reaction. But I'm sure he's staying composed in this position though. Has looked extremely composed. And a lot now gives a, now needs to be careful. Adonja does the right thing and switches the legs back. But Brashori had a second there, had a moment where he could have escaped. Now we have double hooks. Two hooks on the back, one minute remaining for Brashori to try and escape. And now just rolling with his man, Brashori attempting to get back up. Look at the strength there. Was left a little bit of an opening there by Adonjo, and Brashori took it. Crowd. Getting behind Brashori again from Kosovo, but made his home at MMA Rosenheim. Germany is what 
where he is based. And you can see that by the response of the fans here in the Fest Hall. Great pummel on the inside and gets the overhook back. And now going to try and switch out knee through the midsection. 20 seconds remaining in this second round. That right hand is cocked to that. But Ashuri fires it across, just misses. Yeah, the frustration. Oh, of blood. Ashuri now. A lot of blood coming out of the uh, the mouth, it seems like. Of Teo, maybe just getting rid. You can see it dripping down. Stop. Round three, fight. You know, of Prashori and just that accuracy with the little shots that he's had. Great take down the fence. Again, little shots. Oh, look at this. Odonji needs this takedown. Prashori pulls that leg out. A bit of desperation sensed from Odonju. But he's proved himself on the ground. It's just getting it there now. We've seen the damage he's had to take to get through. Get in there, keep that, it there. That and evading damage to that eye. That's More opening damage. up. Because it's already open, already blood pouring. It's out the eye, though. It's actually going right down the nose at the moment. So he's OK. Nice jab lands. Anything that lands now is damaging. Opens that cut more, causes damage. And also, you can see, boy, boy, a good left hook. You can see Brashori just switched on now, maybe with the sight of that cut. Feel like he's got lasers through the through the head of Adonjo. He's loose. He is loose, Luke. You can really see the size of that cut now. Yeah. Adonjo's got to work his way into that single leg. And he's got to avoid those oh, those big, heavy strikes coming from Brashori. Yeah, Brashori just had his weight down on that shot. I think it would have been a lot more damaging. Can kind of float it up as he's moving backwards. Adonjo, again, fainting that, that single. I'd like to see him maybe switch it up. No kicks really thrown in this fight so far. Yeah, very much hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then the attempts from Adonjo to come in. Look at that as he turns around. You can see just the the gape on that cut. Yeah, Brashori taking his time, trying to step outside the southpaw stance and line up that right hand, and just would, missing. I would say Adonji needs some urgency here for the takedown because the referee is checking that cut every time he circles. And this is still in his hands. If he allows the doctor into the cage, it's out of his hands, right, Luke? He needs to make something happen to get that clinch. Yeah, at the moment, you know, nothing has, ha has, has happened to the cut again, so I'd be surprised to see the referee try and do something. But just one shot, one touch, good single leg, fainted there with the striking. Great defense there from Endrit, though, pushing the head high and getting... But what he need what Endrit needs to do is not allow him to wrap his hands around him. If he gets the body lock, as he goes for now, he is so affected from this position. You can see the blood pouring from the head. That head position on Endrit's cheek or on the ear, now you just see the blood pouring over his face. Edric not quite sure what to do here, as he's got these double underhooks and this body lock. Two minutes, 20 seconds now left in this third and final round. Still anyone's loop. One round apiece, every judge has it. 19-19 across the board through the three judges. Yeah, and these opening three minutes have not been action-packed. No big damage scored, just been a lot of control so far. One punch could make all the difference. Or one knee, nice little elbow. Oh, Rashori, wild. He's cut, I think he's cut Rashori as well with that short elbow from Adonjo. It could just be the blood pouring from Adonjo. Hard to yeah, see at the moment. Really. Gets that double underhook again. And this is a close round, right? He needs something, Adonjo, if he wants to take this victory. Rashori now wearing the blood of his opponent. A great tussle, this back and forth. They break away. Did you see that? As soon as he broke away, Ash and uh, Brad Pickett were like, no, go back, get back in, close that distance. One minute, 20 seconds now. Yeah, all we need is, a, is, is one shot. Great body kick. Odonjo needs to step up the pressure now. Reply, reply is good. Needs some damage. And it is a cut. That elbow did open up Wait, something on that. Right hand to the body. Yeah, wearing a cut there, so some nice damage scored by Odonjo, a great oh, round in. That's it, that's in it. on that single. He should watch out for the guillotine. And watch out for the shots. Oof. Landed a good shot of his own there. It did Odonjo on the break. Brashori now waiting. Needs to go as well, 50 seconds remain. Both need to show urgency now. This is anyone's fight. Oh, big right hand, big right left hand. hand land, sorry, from Odonjo. Getting the best of the striking now. 
in these dying moments. Final. For sure, he does look a little bit tired. But still power and popping those shots. Trying to counter Adonji on the way in. Final seconds coming up, 25 of them. All that is left in this epic battle here in the Festhal. Adonji claimed victory over Salim Topos in this very arena. Oh, nice, nice left, left hand. hand. As advertised, this an absolute war between these two. Oh, hey. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, let's see how judges score this fight. First judge, 29, 28, Braishori. Second judge, 29, 28, Orunjo. And last judge, 29, 28, for the winner by split decision. Andrit Braishori!